Stop it. It was a series called Then Came You, and uh, yeah, it was very short-lived, but it was, uh, I was doing punch-up as a writer on the pilot, which is when they bring in other writers just on the pilot episode to punch pitch jokes and things. And they had a gay character who was the manager of this hotel. And the guy they had hired to play it was playing it straight. And I said in the punch-up, I said, this isn't going to be funny if he, unless he plays it point. Otherwise, it's just a hotel. He's got to be like this. And I was doing this all this bit. And they said, well, do you want to play it? And I said, no, I can't. Because I, I was just getting started on Titus. I had uh, my radio show called Titus. And I was doing that. And, and Colin was one of the leads in the show. And... And they said, oh, come on, it's just a, one day a week. And so I came and I ended up doing five episodes of the show <laughs> with Colin. And uh, that's how we got to be friends. And he was so funny on that show. He was, it was about him. He had divorced this, he and his wife got divorced and she was dating this 18-year-old kid. And my favorite line they had was he said, uh, when you said you wanted to have children, I thought you meant something else entirely. <laughs> oh. Great line. Oh. Great line. Anyway, awesome. We got to be friends and we stayed friends forever. All of you, why do you think the show is connected in such a way? Because it's so much, I mean, it's such a high rated show for sci fi, especially, but even more than the normal way they would get. I'm just wondering, why do you think the show connects with people the way it does? Because it's about real relationships, uh, about We're characters family. that you care about. We're a family. It's a, it's a family. It's a it's a dad and three kids and an absentee mom and and it's and it's about a family. You care about them because they care about each other. You know that's and why it's we, funny. Yes, yes. It's really it's funny. funny. You, you, sometimes you get a little pushback on the comedy, and I, and I always say I've never ever read a review of anything that said you know it was just too funny. I didn't like this. It was too funny. I laughed too much. Well, let me put it this way though. Here's the thing. It's, it's an easy thing to say, but the truth is that if we didn't, if we took everything with a grain of salt, then all the dangers would come to, to nothing. Yeah. So we can make fun, we can be funny, but we also can be too funny in the sense that it, we could fall off the tightrope that oh, yeah. we walk on. Right? Yeah, you never want to, you never want to make fun of what we're doing, but you have to. But everybody has humor. Yeah. There, it, there's humor in every situation. If you look for it, it might not be funny. You know what it is? It's not funny to you. It needs to be funny to the audience at a certain point. You're not making jokes Correct. necessarily. At we're not. Yeah, we're not trivializing the danger of, of this. It's very funny all together after all these years of doing this stuff to try to figure out how to analyze why something is a hit. It's like almost trying to explain. This is why. This is the punchline. This is why it's funny. The truth is that if we could really figure that out. We'd all be billionaires. It'd be everything would be a hit. Book of Daniel would still be on the air. There you go. <laughs> you don't know. You know we don't know. The you truth is that yes, we have a family show, but we're not the only show that's that tries to recapitulate a family. Yes, we're a show about fantasy and adventure. We're not the only show that does that. There's a combination of things that are happening at the right time. But if we hadn't, if they hadn't gotten you to play Artie, if they if they hadn't gotten.